Up until this point in the chapter, we've been looking at creating and using our own functions. But in this lesson, we're going to take a look at some of the built-in functions that are available inside of Python. Now, these are functions that you can use right away. You don't have to import any modules. You just start typing and go. They are available from the get-go inside of the Python interpreter. And you've already used some of these in earlier lessons, maybe without knowing about it or just sort of taking it for granted. Examples of these are the length function, or len, that allows you to get the number of items inside of a sequence or a container such as a list. And there was also the sorted method that we used for arranging objects inside of a list. We've been using the print function to display text to our output window. And we've used the range function to create an ordered list of numbers. On screen, I have the Python documentation displaying the built-in functions. And this is a great resource. At the top, it provides a list of all of the built-in functions. And then I can click on any of these and be brought down to an explanation of that function, as well as any of the arguments that are required. So here you can see the length method returns the length or the number of items of an object. And then it tells you what sort of objects can be used. So sequence, we used strings in the past, tuples, as well as lists, or things such as dictionaries. Likewise, we can take a look at the range function. And here you can see two function definitions, one that takes a stop value, and a second one that takes a start, a stop, and an optional step value. So here the square braces means that this is an optional value. And if you don't use it, step will automatically default to one. So if I was to provide a start and a stop of one and five, the list returned would include the numbers one, two, three, and four. If, however, I was to provide a step of two my list would now return the values 1 and 3. For those of you who are new to Python, I would highly recommend checking out the list of built-in functions inside of Python. And we will continue to use many of these in upcoming lessons.